Hello there! Welcome back to, uh, Map Creation Extraordinaire! Me, I am Ike from Ike Games, and I am going to be doing some nonsense again. Uh, keeping the traditional 25 by 25. You can obviously see we're doing a water map today. Uh, in general, I wanted to create a map for dragon turtles, because dragon turtles are fun, scary, and just downright awesome to have if you have an adventure running through in water. But it's, we'll only be doing just a boat. We'll be doing a dock map as well. Maybe a little bit of a larger size. This one being a 25 by 25 standard roll 20. I'll tell you what the other size is if we should change it. But for this one, I think I'll keep the default water viewport. It seems to immediately be right. But let's, let's talk about the dragon turtle a little bit as I start looking through some icons. The dragon turtle being a gargantuan. So, that's not a 2x2, two two, not a 3x3, three three. it's a 4x4 four four monstrosity. We're going to need a boat for sure. We don't really want some of those. Uh, armor class being 20 of natural armor, hit points 341, or 22 d20 plus 110. Ooh, this is a big boy. You want to have ships to fight this. You don't want to fight this on the ground. Being a challenge rating 17, well, speed 20 feet, but swim 40. You want to have things kind of slow down for it. Get some weapons. Uh, now let's go for the ships. Do we want to have a traditional? Let's... Mm, this is going to give us fewer weapon options. Uh, this will give us all the weapons already installed. That would be a small little one-man dinghy. With Captain Jack's bow. That's an airship. That's a rowboat. That's the second floor. Again, the weapons are already installed. Everything's already pre-built. Hmm. Now let's say what the rooms are for. Let's go ahead and do this. Before I put it down, it's amphibian, obviously. Uh, it has dark vision 120, passive perception of 11, strength 25, con 20, and the rest of it is about 10, 10, 12, 12. So not that terrible. Multi-attack makes three attacks, one bite. And two with claws. It can only make one a tail attack in place of two claw attacks. It has a steam breath. A turtle exhales golden steam and a 60 foot cone. Each creature in the area, 18 constitution saving throw, taking 52 or 15 d6 fire damage. On a failed save or half much too successful. Being underwater does not grant resistance against this damage. A dragon turtle has dragons of the deep. Mercenary monsters and elemental might as its traits. Ooh, it's a, a big boy. Now, we want to scale this probably. Well, we may have to play a bigger map if we're going to be scaling this to about right. Or we could have this be. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to scale it to a larger map, won't we? We need to uh, move world, world size. We can enlarge it straight up. Uh. Let's do large width, one full sheet, or eight squares. Let's do width and height, width and height, width and height, width and height, width and height. Do a 30 by 30, as so stated. Now, trying to get these grids to match up may not be the... Ah! Speaking of which, there it is. Now... If we can get this thing, maybe we can rotate the map a little bit. Maybe we can rotate the creatures. No, it's going to be the same either way. Again, keeping this thing unedited. Ooh, that works. Have it be, again, this will be a situation where if you're just roaming around in the water, just going from position A to position B, you can have it, if it's a larger creature, then the boat will allow to board, or you can have uh, Senwagans, you can have Kuatoa, you can have all sorts of underwee, even water woes, join in into the fight on top of the upper decks, which I'll go ahead and place there. Uh, they will have to understand that this doesn't actually lead into water, so probably need to uh, change it to a uh, wooden texture, so to say. So, let's see what kind of wooden textures do we have. Need to go back up here. Keep it maybe an indoor uh, old plaquette. That doesn't seem too bad. Uh, a little bit generic, but they'll get the point. 
so to say, that it leads down to the bottom floor instead of leading to the water. Yeah, okay. So, uh, keeping to the traditional, this being the anchor of the system right here, the anchor goes down, this being the steering wheel, uh, you can have it having a catapult, or you can say that the catapult's not there, D a little bit of disbelief, I can't remove that. The other ship types don't really have a good size to them. You have a little dinghy, you could pull an airship out of nowhere, but the airship's not that large. So again, that's smaller size. This one, as you can tell, it's loaded with guns. And the resolution's not that good. Keep in mind, this is also all you could have currently with this current map Medicare. But it's it's only limited by what people have already put in. So if somebody ever goes into the workshop, adds a plain version, there's probably quite a few plain boat maps out there. But you yeah, have something with a little bit of a personal touch, something you can interact with, multiple floors and such. That's the work. Top floor being the captain, uh, probably an entrance to the crow's nest, to the second floor. Have a uh, ballista here. You could probably add some cannons as need be. Add cannonballs. We'll be doing that. Having the sleeping area. The uh, captain, you could have this be a rental. You're just buying, transferring from island to island or continent to the new land to explore the new things that need to be, you know, explored. <clears throat> Uh, this being closed off, allowing up and down passages, uh, this being the down, go to the middle, this probably be the larder area for the chef, some storage, individual crew quarters, or you can have that be the actual crew quarters. Uh, you can turn this into anything else you really want, these being bunk beds, hence the ladders. Again, a lot of it's pre-made, but we're going to add some personal touches to it, because I feel like this is empty, this is empty, and this is empty. So we'll do a few things as needed. Uh, you probably consider galleons can weigh upward to 200,000 gold. Ships in traditional D&D are fairly expensive. But it comes with its own little treasure hoard area, our map maker's room, the cabin boy's room. It's got a chest in there. I mean, you could have this be a boarding action, so to say. Go to the docks, get into the ship, then proceed to this map to show the different layers of the internal. I will be showing the other map. It will be one of the other generic ship types. Uh, most likely this one, which doesn't look that bad. Didn't pick it, simply because, again, it's already got the weapons, it's got a little dinghy on it. It does have a second floor, which is right here, but again, I already got all the stuff in it. There's not much else to do, just put something down. Oh, look, you're done. Map. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to fill out the larder. I want to fill out the personal cabin touches. Of course, it's going to take a little bit. Now, Dragon Turtles... Eh, well, you're probably here for the map. Dragon turtles, dragons of the deep, like true dragons, dragon turtles collect treasure. They have stuff underground. Short, sweet, simple. Uh, mercenary monster, dragon turtle is smart enough to be bribed. Pirates sailing in the seas by these creatures quickly learn to offer them treasure in exchange for safe passage. Now that's an idea. Elemental might, dragon turtles sometimes find their way through sunken planar rifts in the elemental plane of water. These monster specimens can often be found on services of marids, which strap magnificent coral thrones to the back of the dragon turtles and ride them as mounts. Now that would be scary, having a fleet of dragon turtle mounted knights marids flying towards you. Just chasing waves, you see a giant tidal wave from a ninth level tsunami spell. Or just have a wish and say, I want to cast a tsunami that just completely knocks the, uh, the uh, coast side out. Now I've got siege weapons, i got food and kitchen, I've got doors already prepared. The doors, don't really need them unless we're going to go something crazy with it. Get add a uh, secret hatch. Not a bad idea. I'll hold on to that. Cages are already done. Probably a couple of prison items, details. Maybe a couple of knick-knack paddywax. Going left and right. We'll see what we can do with it. Uh, maybe. Boats, fishing, sea, uh, anchor, anchor. Make it a little bit on the obvious side. You could have the anchor just slightly overboard. No, 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 no. It's already got a hole. It doesn't need to do anything. There's the canoe. There, just don't need... Ah, netting! Here we go. You can have some cargo netting. Uh, netting thrown for the side. Like, the ship just comes with the netting kind of thing. The net blue, net blue. Yeah, I think I like this. You can have some uh, traditional netting just uh, 
thrown over to the side here, uh, denoting that it's tied down to protect it against the, uh, oh, there we go. Have it on the catapult saying that it's been tied down. There we go. Catapult's been tied down with a netting in order to get it open. You need to do more with it. If it's designed for a siege, it could be that the catapult's not actually there, which in that case, just put, using Girl 20, just put a block over it. Or just put, like, a black it out, or just get the same color scheme. It does not do exact, just cover it up. I don't have to do too much with it. Uh, what to do, what to do. Uh, have a, I think we need to have a little bit more netting. Maybe something. Yes, on the side up here. Have a little bit of net right there just to keep things off to the side. Keep things good. Creates a fish. Uh, fish net float. Ah, yes. There's a little floater with it. Other little boats and dinghies. No, 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 no. Don't really need much else. Ship wrecks for the potential. Have some oars. Uh, net repair board, mm -hmm. lobster traps, maybe not, uh, wind sails, traps, I think we're good in that regard, anything up there, no, not really, so let's go ahead and start getting the cages, uh, chain with mounts, ooh, there we go, have these mounted, free locked to the wall, Denoting that if somebody, instead of immediately... No, 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 no. We could just... Yes, yes. Mm. Keep it tied to the mast. No, it's too small. Have a uh, guillotine. No, 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 no. If we had a post, that would work. Having him uh, stay up topside, maybe. Cages are good. But I want maybe something to fill the space. Ah, maybe that's fine. Have a uh, a smuggler's hole. Maybe we can have a hatch. That's not a bad idea. Have a, a little bit of a hatch. Hmm. Hatch. That's thatch. This is hatch. Uh, having a steel hatch. That's not a bad idea. Have it being about half the size. Placed right there. Oop, oop. Oh. I guess it doesn't like it. Yeah, okay. It's not it's not placing it. I guess it's just not liking that. Hmm. Alright then. I guess it won't be putting a hatch down in there. Good to know that it takes priority. Hmm. I mean, I get it. It's just they're going to exist. Sell benches. No. Not really needed to do that. Okay, I guess there's not much for cages in prison. Unless there's something else I'm forgetting. There's a platforms. Mm, a stockade. Ooh. Stockades are nice. Having two stockades over here for some uh, unruly. Having this being a pirate ship for unruly plates. Or have it be a, a mercenary military vessel for uh, any lazy bones. Or you can have these be benches. You can have these do as you will. I'll be putting one right there. And right there. Good, 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 good. Anything else? There's some other stockades. Stretchers. <laughs> Torture racks. Mm -hmm. No. No need for that. A windlass. Mm, definitely not. Uh, any extra doors? Ah. Cellar door wouldn't be a bad idea to put it in that in place. Can make it look like a small hatch. A small little double hatch. Closed together. That would work. Rotate it around. There we go. Uh, denoting that under the ship where the uh, un inaccessible area should usually be. Maybe a little bit larger. Because it does need to be accessible. This being five feet. So it's about three foot wide. About three by three feet, you want to say? Yeah, it's about two and a half, maybe three feet. Have that. Uh, have it covered with barrels around it. Uh, that's a good idea. Speaking of which, barrels. Maybe need to start stocking the larder. Ah, put some... Just, uh... Cover it up slightly. Just, uh, hide it a little bit away. Maybe... Maybe rotate it slightly. Saying as you move it over. Like, they won't notice it first hand. 
that there's barrels, there's a barrel placed on top of the hatch. It's not immediately apparent. We'll keep going for barrels. Let's see here. Ship barrel, ship barrels. I like to have the big water barrels. Bottles, barrels with lids. Yes, it needs to have water. Uh, if you're going to be doing a kitchen, you can't really do it without the water barrels. Look how nice that looks. It kind of blends in quite well. Uh, there's going to be several of these. Uh, they don't put some on the top. Captain's already got his bathtub. Oh my gosh. Um, there's going to be a few of these for sure. Where else can we put these that would be open? Open and ease of access. Um, probably just down the deck right here for people to go into. Prevent the, uh, salt air, the salt from getting into it. Spoiling the, uh, water source. Or any kind of air, like pests, such seagulls, insects, when doing coastal shores. That looks out pretty nice. Yes, okay. Now more barrels of that kind, please. Ah, some empty barrels. That'll do. Uh, we can fill this area out slightly, uh, denoting the random orientation. I'm gonna be a little bit on the larger side. Ah. Just placing a few of those around. More barrels. With no, yes, maybe just the lid. Hmm. Having more of the barrels of this kind. Can I have just a top dime barrel? Yes, you can. Now, the barrels of types, the barrels of this, the barrels of that. Same size, slightly more. Good. Good. And he likes to keep his room mostly clean. He's going to sleep in here after all, it being the uh, cook. Well, he may not even sleep in there, truth be told. He could sleep elsewhere. Um, let's see. Maybe a barrel or two inside the sleeping area. Just, uh, just to place it, to have it. The guest quarters, captain's quarters, the, uh, eating place. Or the, uh, yes, the guest grouping mapping cartography. The treasure hoard, storage in general, hold the captain's important valuables. The, uh, first mate, the first laddie, who sits in the back. Ah, fill things up with barrels. Well, hold on. Barrels. I have barrels right here. This would work. Instead of having to do that back and forth. Um, barrel two. Same size. About. Random up. Barrel, barrel. 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 Have, let's say, a couple of stacked. Rack. Let's have a rack here. Set. Stacked. And to have ale, have mead, have enjoyance of alcohol. Style 2 of a barrel rack. Yes. Mm. I could have these be larger stacks of quantity. Maybe off to the Side, I can delete this one, that would work. Having off here, having off there, denoting uh, something of importance. Maybe try to translate this being the drinking area, the food access reserve, this being the storage for not use, so to say. Uh, fish bones. This would be something used, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, have it rotate slightly. Place there, denoting he's uh, getting fish, putting it in, maybe throwing the bones away, maybe like to throw over the uh, debris afterwards. That work. You can't underestimate the need for barrels. Barrels, 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 and kicks. Kick, kick, kicks. I kicks. That's not where that came from. Truth be told, my name came from uh, a game, an old game. It was an open barrel. That'd work. Have, uh, have some of the reserve already be opened, emptied, 
maybe to uh, to note and say that they've been going out, uh, maybe you've been uh, out and about for a while. Uh, maybe another type. Oh my! Another type of stacked here. This being a smaller set. No, 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 no. I'll go ahead and delete this one. Have it set there. Uh, it, it'll be what it be. Open here. Anything. I don't believe. Yeah, those are just normal top barrels. You got any buckets for me? Uh, just, uh, stacked. Some stacked barrels here. Yeah. Mm, no, I gotta go back to it. There we go. Still hit a button. So, we want to rotate these. They being tied down, maybe with some netting. Uh, speaking of which, you can use that for that. Uh, rotate net. Perfect size as well. Barrels tied down, netted. Those being in caskets, that being netted down in place. That works. Maybe we need to have a few more things in here. Um, chest boxes. Boxes, crates, containers. Here we go. Boxes, crates, containers. Ah, we can just have a uh, entire stock here. I like that. Let's uh, rotate it slightly. Maybe pump it. Get those. Uh, hmm. Now we're going to have to shrink it slightly. There's being quite a few types in here. That'll do. Maybe it's an uh, extra storage area. A box of piranha. Maybe uh, to denote maybe the captain has a nasty little habit of uh, torturing crew by sticking a foot by required. A cloth wrapped foot so they'd eat the calf. Oof, that'd be scary. A uh, bucket of arrows, that'd be good to have. Maybe, maybe near the mast, that'd work. Uh, again, same size. Have it, in case you know you need some arrows, you never know what you're gonna need. Uh, buckets, buckets. Normal buckets, 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 uh, buckets, indeed. Now, why would each crewman need a bucket? You ask. Hmm. Why indeed? Why would each crew ever need a bucket? Well, I'll leave that between you and the game master. <laughs> each crewmate's allowed a bucket. Each crew is allowed. Let's see. Let's uh. Let's let's put some baskets. Maybe uh. Creative. Ooh, that's a that's a big one. It's going to it's going to mesh. Don't worry. That way. Uh, created some fruits in there. Looks like there's something else in there. Uh, it, it, it'll be between you and your game master. Yes, creative kittens. Oh no, creative, uh, creative bread. Yeah, as you can see the bread there. That's pretty large. Creative bread. Mm, put things, tie it down. Just uh, some loose storage. Uh, if we ever get into rough seas, the first thing to do. I mean, it's. Maybe secure the fruit. Put the lid back onto it. Just hammer back down the nail. You pulled up with the crowbar. Yes, and just uh, the weight alone will keep things usually, usually kind of calm. Uh, these areas and fields not being too nice. But maybe yeah, each each crewmate would need not a basket, maybe a crate of some kind. Um, I like that. That's a that's a nice little meaty. That need to be a a randomly placed crate. Everybody's got preferences. Uh, hey, maybe this person likes their privacy. This person doesn't care so much. You know, you you see how it is. Somebody comes in. Maybe he's gotten he's gotten tired of people waltzing in while he's uh busy. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Having fun. Worn crates. Oh, these will work. These will work. Fill out the area. 
Uh, random assortment of uh, stacks. I'm gonna tune this one. Uh, they've uh, shoved a few things into the back area over here. Uh, maybe a couple of them looking slightly different. Have a of different sizes. Let's delete this one in place. That that works better. Yes, that'd work. That'd work indeed. Uh, give them plenty of room. Give them plenty of room to uh, enter. Should they choose to need to explore, maybe have uh, a person of interest. Mm, yes, have a uh, have the cabin boy hiding within here, uh, or inside the hatch. They need to find the cabin boy. Uh, he, uh, was, uh, actually a fall long lost noble son who got lost in an alleyway, uh, went to the docks. He just could not find his way back. He was probably about four years old, out adventuring without a god. He snuck out, maybe, perhaps. And the situation is, is that the crew found him. They, he, he being out for a while, and the crew found him, immediately took him on. Maybe a group of pirates and said, Hey, cabin boy! Uh, may, uh, maybe not directly dressed particularly nice, or maybe he was, and there was their plan to send ransom to the nobles. Or maybe it's been a few years, and uh, the cabin boy has, uh, the young lad has decided to keep on going and uh, venturing forth with it. It is filling out quite nice, adding a little bit more livelihood. Uh, let's see here. Being everybody's got a crate. Everybody likes their creative business. Mm. I think I'd use these crates instead. Uh, maybe yes, that, that would work. Randomly inclination. Yeah, have a little bit of a smaller crate. Don't worry too much about it. Now boxes, crates, containers. Nothing much else, nothing much else. And they've got their bucket, they've got this, they've got that. Doesn't need a basket. We aren't, we aren't carrying goods just across the corner. We need crates. Require, ah, squash. Squash is good. Fry it up. Ah, the crate of kittens. A nice little Easter egg for anyone to find. Of course, you need to make it big enough for anybody to actually identify, because if you put it down... Oh, it actually looks nice. Oh, that's a big box of kittens. I've completely just grabbed it. Okay, so we're, we're done with barrels. We're done with boxes. We're done with doors, maybe. Yes. Doors, broken. Food, kitchen. Ah, uh, this is a lot of food. Anything particular? No, 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 no. We're okay. So, cannons. It's cannon time. Now, I like these cannons, but of course you need to be careful where you place these cannons because you need room in between them. So, about five feet apart would say work. And then repeat it again, making sure that you are doing it equal. Uh, yes. Now, having the broadside cannons, you can say that uh, for this sake of the map, the cannons don't exist. You can say that they do exist. You can say that there's not so many. You can say that there's more underneath. For this, I won't be putting any underneath. I mean, it's more of a uh, top heavy craft, you'd want to say. You don't want to have a ton of guns. You want to have some guns. But you have a ballista, you got a catapult, you know, in case you want to, you know, see stuff. A <laughs> carry on passengers, you got plenty of bunks for the crew. Uh, you got the captain's quarters, you got the important quarters, you know, a team for a party. You got the two down here, everybody wants to share, you got lovers in your group. You can uh, do the romance, I think. I don't, I, I don't know. Do your thing down there, just, just, okay. Uh, you can have one, two, three, four. You got the main captain person who ever bought the ship, so that's five, six, seven. So you can have a seven man group actually part of this. And they have their own individual rooms. Customize them as you need to. Do this, do that. Have the actual crew quarters over here. They tend to be quite large and in charge. Now, cannon this, cannon that. Uh, there needs to be cannonballs somewhere, does there not? Uh, but where are they going to find their cannonballs? These being sourced and stacked. 
maybe not close to the exit on here. I have a uh, stack here, a uh, stack there. Pretty good, pretty good. I uh, can't ding here. Yeah, I can't dig. Doesn't seem like a bad idea. It won't move around. It'd be a nice grab immediately. Uh, probably not. Uh, that's a that's a lot of cannonballs there. Yes, catapults, trebuchets, swivel cannons. Don't you like swivels and hand cannons? I like hand cannons. Hand cannons and swivel cannons. Uh, maybe denoting some swivel cannons. Uh, if you want to say it doesn't exist, hey, you can use it as a periscope instead. Put a swivel cannon about right here, considering it's a swivel cannon. It's going to be a bit on the smaller side. Yes, about there for any kind of personnel. Uh, maybe even have one here for the captain to use. Mm, on this side. Maybe facing uh, as, uh, being what it is. That'll work. Have a, you can say it's a periscope instead of a swivel cannon. If you don't want the uh, little hand cannon things going on. Uh, shooting grape shots. Doing this. Anything else, really? Mm, bigger catapults. No, that's that's basically about it. You could have the digs for the cannons. Go older cannons. Big, more modern cannons. Ah, there's another dig. Hmm. It just says dig. So I guess that's the pack dig. Dig, dig, dig. Catapult, catapult, catapult. Trebuchet, trebuchet. Uh, ballista. Which is what we currently have. There's the good ballista model. So... Doesn't look too bad. I don't like how... I mean, it, it could be empty for combat sake. That'll work. Empties for combat sake. Uh, start getting internally. Uh, then you start dropping down to the bottom of the decks here. They've breached in to the area. Uh, gotten into the uh, treasure area. The important storage area, maybe. Uh, gotten into the food larder. Got to the extra storage area. Got to the food larder here. Uh, broken into the prison cell, going into the upper decks where you've got most of your storage. You can have a lot of stuff like that, but I think I'd leave it open. And I think I'll save this. Yes. I'll save this indeed. So. Let's just do a, uh, let's just do a hard save real quick. File menu. Save. As you can tell, I've got quite a few maps already created. I would like to call this, uh, ship combat? Yeah, ship combat. And then just do a save. Nice. Very nice. Now, next, hmm, next would be the docks. We've already 30 minutes in. We can keep going. We're doing fine. So, we need to do a new dungeon. Go ahead and do that. Create the sea. And let's get the docks. Let's, let's do the docks. Wasteland, maybe. Grass, mossy brown. Let's do a dock with interior. Having cobble storm floor. Maybe. Where's the cobblestone? There's normal ground dirt. Riverbed. Walls. Am I forgetting? Granite. Stone. Hmm. There's walls. Hmm. Don't really want to do granite. Uh, there's nature. Wood. Stone. Pavement. Cement. Brick. Rusted metal. Rusted floor. Tiles. Hmm. Where is it? Where is it? I feel like somebody's screaming at me, telling me where it is. I thought for sure there'd be cobblestone here. I mean, I saw it earlier, did I not? Am I just that crazy? Let's just go through all of it. Cliff, 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 cliff. Cracked. Riverbed, dirt ground, stone ground, ground, ground. Okay. Nope. Uh, we're good on water. Oh, pfft, cobblestone. I am a dumb. So... Cobblestone, little dock over here. I'll do good. We'll get the buildings. We'll have the pier. We'll have uh, we'll have one going around right here. Let's denote that with a two by two. Going about right here, and we'll have another one going about the same distance, going right here. Have the big ship docked here. Have like a little dinghy docked there. Let's go ahead and do that. Dingy. 
It'll be a boat. Lifeboat. Small boat. Yeah, small boat will work just fine. Uh, have a few of these. Uh, being uh, moderately sized. Have it just... Uh, uh, having uh, what it is, uh, boats, having different types of boats, different sails, uh, same size, same size, uh, going about right here, yeah, well, I need to move it out slightly, don't I, let's go over here to, we don't need the cannons, we can go to ships, having a ship Small. Ooh, that'd be fine. You want to do anything with that? You could do something with that. Skiff, ship. Here we go. Now, we're going to have to inflate this again. We're going to have to do a lock. Oh, not so much inflation. Nope, we're going to have to inflate again. Is it just not locking? Let's see here. Uh, I believe that's good. That's the right height. Here we go. There we go. And have the ship poured and moored in. It doesn't need to go all the way to the tip. That'll work just fine. Have the uh, their little dinghy hanging out overboard. It's to scale about as much as it needs to be. That'd be fine. You could say it's a merchantile vessel. A merchantile vessel that's actually quite well armed. With the uh, double ballistas in the back. Maybe the ballistas how in my campaign. Or magically enchanted for uh, anti-air seeking. Or anti-anything. You could have it seeking this, seeking that. Ah, uh, yes. Um, wood? Wood exists, therefore it does. Let's have a pier. I feel like I'm missing something. Is it an other? That's a sea star. Pier, plants, piers, here we go. Boardwalks. Boardwalk ends, boardwalk this. There's just boards, boards, docks, piers. Pier blue, pier that, pier. This works. Ah, that'd do. That'd do just fine. Just overlap a one. Ah, there we go. Just overlap the last one. And that ends up fitting pretty nicely. Now, if you want to make it a little bit more uniform, we can have planks. Uh, that'd work with the pier as well. Be a little bit less. Maybe. Uh, there's always options. Uh, wooden way, planks, planks. Ah, yes, I could do this. Having it not locked, having it shrink to about a three. Maybe I do need to lock it. No, 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 no. No, no, the locking works. Just uh, delete that. Uh, just do that. A little one slap. Just having a, a little bit of a god. Little bit of underlap there, but that's fine. And then all I have to do is uh, grab that and uh, place it down again. That's being above. If it falls, it's going to be bad. So that looks, that's already looking quite nice. So, what we need to do next is maybe some net. I uh, like the nets cargo nets, fishing nets, mm, guillotine net, gilliot net there. Uh, just, uh, for people to get off and off, on and off, the, uh, the ship, yeah, some, uh, netting, maybe somebody's thrown the netting on and off, like, it, it doesn't have a traditional ladder system, so they're using the net, or you can have it do whatever you want, I uh, maybe you don't need to do netting, but I do need to bring these ships closer, uh, yes, because it's locked, they looked pretty nice. So a couple of little dinghies are uh, making 
they're docked here. Uh, there it goes. The piers are good. Uh, we want some buildings, don't we? We want not foundations, houses. Houses are up here. Just uh, some generic style buildings. Maybe some stuff that can fall off. Like... Uh, if it's going to be five feet, you want them to be able to climb up it. So, something that's kind of off the map like that, which can, can then continue. You can use this building over and over again, really. As long as you keep things rotational. Right? Right. I mean, look at this. It's already looking kind of nice. They don't even know what the other end of the house is supposed to look like. But... You can have it go there. Having the main entryway be like that. See, it looks like several different houses. Large smokestack for that one. Uh, we can have... Oh, I like this style house. That's a nice little hut, so to say. Say there's... Maybe a fish market is placed, placed right here. Opening. Uh, or the uh, dock keeper's little hut is placed right there. Just uh, watching over... A place. Keeping things uh, within an understandable reason. Uh, have this. Uh, one uh, placed off. Like denoting there's something. Uh, building type over there. Maybe something else. House big. Or we need to just go exploring. I remember a lot of these houses being quite weird. Uh, tiled roof, there's a little hut kind of thing, that's a temple looking thing, I mean that would be nice for difference. Uh, let's, let's go a little bit, no, 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 that, that sticks out like a sore thumb, unless you want them to deliberately go over there. That's not the point, the point is the boat. Tiled roof, a slanted roof, ah, uh, this'll do. Yeah. There. There we go. Eh, not exactly the same style. Hmm. Maybe we need to go back to the zero. Keep the mossy houses in check. Not a bad idea. Uh, the docks. Not exactly. Yeah, there we go. Having an L junction. It, instead of it continuing that way, there's a bit of a land bar over here to the left. Uh, which I can go ahead and do. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get the sea going. Gravel, dirt, uh, rocks and twigs. Maybe we can do some uh, gravel work. Or edge gravel. Uh, denoting there's actually a th believe shore over here. That works out pretty nice. Then, we can add actual water stone, should we choose to. I believe this actually looks pretty nice. Uh, stone walk, maybe. Mm, let's see what, uh, let's see what that looks like. That's not bad at all. That doesn't look too terrible. Nice, large, uh, rounded stones. Mm, it could be better. Uh, go ahead and get the... Mm, delete that. Let's add actual stones to it, shall we? Like a big stone. Stone, stone, stone. Random stones, random stones. Hey, somebody got squished. Random stones. Uh, they're used to seeing them small, but they're not used to seeing them large. Uh, so to say, a couple of stones here. Yeah. No, 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 that actually looks out of place. That'll be difficult, having stone in that regard. You can't go wrong. Mm, I think that would be fine. Just denoting that there's a couple of uh, stone pieces, edge paint. I don't need to go with that. Ah, that that'd be fine, denoting that there's actually uh, land in that area. You want to have plenty of room. And this being open sea, the docks continue to the right. Now, would there be any rope 
Wow, rope. I don't know what that spelling was of rope, but it was a it was a spelling of rope. <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> uh, coils of rope would be everywhere. Uh, you'd have it spontaneously placed. Uh, probably not locked like that. Uh, at the end of the pier, sure. Just uh, some sticks and stacks of ropes. Uh, maybe not there, so to say. Uh, but yeah, over here, just two stacks of ropes, two wrappings of ropes. Uh, what else can we do? No houses, don't need holes, don't need siege cannons. I've got those in my castle. You can use this map, let's say, for... Uh, going to rescue, there's a, uh, merchantile ship that is currently being boarded or raided, or you need to, uh, there's been an invasion of creatures, like creatures I stated earlier, uh, water roads, uh, water spirits, elementals, a dragon turtle attacking, uh, you can do a dragon turtle here, it's big enough to have a landing here, and then going under the docks, and then popping up right here and attacking anybody, getting too close enough, it could even, it's big enough to one, two, three, four, five, it's big enough to even crawl onto the thing if you need it, it's a four by four, not a five, that would be colossal putting a five by five, this thing's gargantuan, so this alone would actually be a lot, but I feel like I, I, I need to add more, like, more unique, uh, miscellaneous things. No, not, maybe not that. Maybe not furniture boxes. People are always moving things back and forth. Containers. Boxes, 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 box, box, box. Yes! Stacks of crates! Very well. Uh, let's continue with the, uh, old wooden tradition. Going, uh... Let's say there's a, a a stack going on here. Uh, a, a decently uh, a small size stack. That's the old. I need to uh, keep it a similar size. Ah, uh, yes. I'm gonna rotate this one diagonally so I can put something in there. Put one there. And then the final size. Putting needs to be one up. Putting randomization into it. Stacking, stacks of doing things. There's a triple stack box set there. Haphazardly piled up. Because dock workers find the fastest way to do things, not so much the most efficient way to do things. I uh, let's see, maybe uh barrels yes. knickknacks, patty wax, wooden crates, that's a different view than I would like. Barrels, uh bottles, bars, barrels and kegs. Mm, a large stack would be nice. It really would. Uh but for this case, I think we'll have a just a uh, loose collection of barrels over here with net again strapped over it. And with that done. I just keep preventing people from doing, you know, nonsense. Doesn't mean people can't just roll them out and steal them. But the docks being about as uh, busy as they usually are. Now, we want to have a pier post. I mean, it's being a smaller pier, probably not. Uh, arches, awnings. Yes, we can, can't we? Uh, market shade, tiger. Yeah, let's have a... Let's denote... That this will be the uh, the area to go to uh, pay your docking fees. <laughs> uh, this being his actual home away from home. This being some shops of some kind. I uh, starting to feel a little bit more lively. I feel like this area is a bit barren. Uh, that's perfectly acceptable. I can even leave those leaving out in the open. People just uh, moving things back and forth. Adds a little bit of lifeness to it, getting some random things. Uh, maybe a couple of crushed barrels? Mm, barrels being destroyed? Not a bad idea. I mean, nothing's ever perfect. Ale caskets. Mm. 
Uh, barrels of water. That's a, that's a good idea, denoting that these things have probably been here for a while. So, people have just been going back and forth. Uh, that works out fairly well, indeed. We're coming up. I think we're about done. About. I say about. Uh, maybe flip that around. I could put this under the house. I think I'd like to do that. And then place, adding a little bit of overshadow. There. Very nice. Uh, denoting that there's something, something like there's some maybe uh, moving going on in this area. Uh, this being a large porch, maybe a uh, shop is over here. Uh, this being a, a prominent dock owners or dock workers location. Most likely the dock workers location storage coming in and out through here. Uh, the large entryway for the store. Uh, this being the uh, the actual owner residence of the uh, dock. If it's not owned by a lord, if it's owned by a local person within a city or town. Or, uh, again, the town lords. Uh, I mean, it, it could be as much as you want to. It could be that there's a uh, food stall in the docks. A lot of people to come and go as they please. The water here being contaminated. But uh, it just being water, it's not exactly the most healthy right here. They just kind of pulled it out of the little by well. It's been sitting there stagnant for a while. Uh, it could give somebody uh, a nice little disease if they come up to try to drink some of that. If they get it something special. But... I think that'll work. You can leave, uh, have, you can have a, uh, you can have a chase go down to the docks. You can have an infestation coming out attacking the docks. You can have an invasion, uh, a pseudo-naval battle going on. You have a, uh, hostile ship, like a movable ship, NPC box. You have it moving in, doing a bombardment, trying to return fire, just trying to evacuate citizens. You can have, uh... A rogue band of misfits, mercenaries, bandits have gotten in and they're terrorizing or they're, uh, they have escaped. Uh, some criminals have escaped in the area. I need to go down to the docks and find them. Uh, they could be here just blending into plain sight. They could be on the ship. Could be in the lower levels of the ship. Could be uh, trying to take one of the dinghies trying to escape. That probably wouldn't be too smart. You wouldn't be able to get very far. Maybe over here to the land mass. All sorts of things. But this one being a 25 by 25, the other one being a 30 by 30. Uh, remember to scale your maps if you're using Roll20. If you're planning on printing these maps out, then it doesn't matter. Just make sure you're uh, printing it of a nice, large, scalable size if you, for whatever miniatures or uh, replacements for your NPCs or PCs that you will be using. Uh, other than that, I think we're doing fairly well. I think this looks pretty nice. And I think I'll be done with it there. So, thank you. For watching. Thank you for following along. For anybody who stayed through the entire thing. If you skipped through it. I mean that's totally fine. Just to see what it looks like at the end. That's acceptable. But please. Uh, at least if you did. Tell me how you like it. Tell me what you don't like about it. Tell me if you think that the ship should maybe be on the other side. So that way you have a larger area. For the uh, invading force. Uh, maybe. That wouldn't be a bad idea. I can keep opening up area space. That'd be easy to do real quick right now. Mm, I've talked myself into it. I believe I have. I've talked myself right into it. Have a uh, larger area docked right there. It would need to be not too far. I don't want to have any damages on the boat. I could, yeah, keep it locked. That way it'd be neutral. Uh, yes, there we go. There we go. That way you can have a larger force coming in, more for the players to do their own thing with it. Uh, that looks fairly nice. A uh, big open area uh, in case you want to get your own ship. Uh, you have your own uh, player custom created ship tile set. Uh, have it land into here. You can have uh, the city lords trying to escape. Corrupt criminal who has been oppressing the people for the last several years. Uh, trying to escape in a large vessel. And so your objective is to chase him down. And he's the, uh, the corrupt guards are in the dockyards. They're pressing, pushing people off the water. Uh, and just 
like giving people like it's you can have all sorts of things going like that uh trying to get away you gotta get on the boat you gotta start fighting over it you gotta take it over do you know the uh the usual stuff that's a now that I realize, that's actually a big steering wheel. <laughs> but it makes sense. you got to have a large enough area to get stuff. But I'm actually going to end that here. Uh, I'll talk myself into doing more things if I keep going. And that's not a bad idea. But simplicity is better so you can get more out of it. So, again, you got anything you want to comment about, uh, please type it down below. If you like it, please put a thumb up. If you want to... Uh, just subscribe if you want to. I mean, it's just one of those things. Please subscribe if you can. Like it. Uh, I, I, I'm just dragging it on at this point. So I guess I'll go ahead and leave it there. Again, thank you for watching. And good episode. I'll see you guys later. Take care, everybody.